first alert forecast. It's a first alert weather day. As you're getting ready to head out to the polls for election day, you could be running into gusty winds, the possibility of a few isolated showers, and we're talking record breaking temperatures. But the main focus today, the impactful thing is the winds. Peak wind gusts today, 40 to 45 miles per hour. So that is certainly something you're going to notice. If you are standing in long lines, which we have already seen with early voting, and as Sawyer Osmond is out this morning, we've already seen some lines setting up at Solomon Farm Park. You're going to want to watch out for these winds. If you have the hats or maybe some documents you have to bring in, make sure those are secure and ready to go. In fact, as you prep for the day, a light jacket, a really good idea, something with a little bit of a hood because we are dealing with a few very light isolated showers this morning. They're very brief in nature, but nonetheless, I think the isolated rain chance will stick around during the day. The majority of warmth and the majority of any of those showers comes through overnight tonight. Here's the look at some of the light rain I'm already talking about. It's nuisance weather for this morning, but nonetheless, it's just a good idea to have that light jacket ready to go, especially for kids as they get ready for the bus stop. You notice more shower activity off toward the west. That's the side of the cold front. This is our weather maker for election day, and this is what's responsible for the wind that is contributing to this first alert weather day. When it comes to rain chances, isolated showers are possible during the day, but the majority of that rain coming through later this evening. Here's a look at future track windy conditions during the day before the rain kicks in as that starts to push in more and more throughout the day. Isolated showers picking up for the late afternoon and heavier showers expected as we go into overnight tonight. I'm not expecting expecting widespread rain for your evening commute. I think your evening commute will be similar to your morning commute with a few of these very light hit or miss showers. It's more so as most folks are getting ready for bed that will be dealing with more showers that pushes out and dries up past midnight. And behind that cooler air is moving in for tomorrow. As I mentioned, a light jacket, probably the way to go. Something with a hood for this morning as we deal with a few of those hit or miss showers and something light because it's really mild this morning. Temperatures as you head out the door are in the mid 60s. And in fact, later today, we could be breaking records. I'm forecasting a high by this evening of 75 degrees. That beats out the previous record of 73 degrees set back not too long ago in 2015. As for tonight, things stay mild with the rain on the way. Overnight lows only in the 50s. We have a streak of low 60s and sunshine for the coming days, but of course, your first alert weather team is always looking ahead and we're keeping an eye on any of your weekend plans. Saturday looks like your better opportunity for outdoor things, but on Sunday we're dealing with another opportunity where a front's coming in. We have spotty showers and a little bit of breezy conditions too that you'll need to plan around. All right, Liz, thanks so much.